In this video, I'm going to show you how to bomb the cover four quarters over the top for a one play score in Madden 22. What's going on guys? My name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel focuses in on helping people become the best Madden player they can possibly become. And so if you're looking to get better at this game, I just want to encourage you to hit the subscribe button or uh, hit the follow button down below. And it's completely free to do that. It just allows you to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies in Madden 22. All right, guys, so we found a cover four drop beater. This will also uh, beat a lot of the different types of coverages you're going to face. I'm going to come out and kind of blitz three. We're going to audible over to cover four drop and kind of walk through this. This is out of my uh, Seattle Seahawks offensive guide. I've been running the Seahawks playbook to start the year. I think it's probably the best one. I've lapped pretty much every playbook in the game. And this is the one that, in my opinion, is the easiest to run. And it's also the one that is the most consistent to see. In my opinion, Madden 22, at least right now, on offense is all about consistency. And if you want consistency and the ability to be able to absolutely dot your opponent up all the way up and down the field, as well as having the best red zone offensive mini scheme that I've seen yet in the game, I would encourage you to pick up the Seattle Seahawks offensive guide. It's going to be good all year. We're actually going to update this guide as well as some of the patches for the zones come out so that you can always have the most up-to-date content. And that guide is on sale for just 15 bucks. So if you want to get it, it's down in the description. That's one of the best ways you can help support my channel is to pick up a uh, offensive or defensive guide. All right, guys, so the play is clear out SE out. We're in the Seattle Seahawks playbook. This play is only in the Seahawks and the Ravens playbook. But I want to first show you how I like to bomb uh, cover four. So we're just going to show you the cover four uh, drop zone. And all we're going to do, this is kind of my, my little secret. Just put the tight end on a streak. And then you can do whatever you want with R1. I'm going to put him on a flat route just for this part. And then we're going to kind of break down the coverage in just a second. So the other thing that I really like to do, and something that I'm actually kind of really becoming a fan of, is putting the running back on a curl or an option route. Because again, the zone coverage, it really helps manipulate some zone coverage. Anyways, if you take a look here, you're going to see that the circle receiver, you're just going to pass lead this all the way to the right. And as you can see, you're just going to do a little swerve catch. Now, 99% of the time, it'll be a one play score. I, obviously, as you saw right there, we, we got tackled by the safety. But the beauty of this is this is an absolute laser against cover four drop. Like cover four drop really doesn't stand a chance uh, against this coverage, as you can see. Now I want to show you some variations of this setup uh, that you can use to be able to beat the rest of the defenses that you might come across them. And the first thing that I like to do is when I put that running back on the curl, um, the next thing that I like to do is if you have slot apprentice or like a hot route master quarterback, you could put this guy on a corner route. And I just want to show you what this corner route does. You're going to see the same basic thing. Um, he's going to basically, you know, corner route, and then you can aggressive catch that. That's going to be better later in the season um, than it is right now. Once they once they kind of change some of the zones, that's just kind of my two cents. I think you're going to see that setup is going to be really important later in the season. Now, another setup that I like to do is I like to curl um, the R1. And I'm going to show you why in just a second. Um, but take a look at it against the base cover four. As you see here, it kills cover four again to the outside. You break one tackle and you're in the end zone every single time. So super effective. Um, and then, the, but the reason why I like to curl him is because if I go to the cover four uh, quarters defense, what you're going to see is same coverage. You know, all we're going to do is curl, streak, and then I like, like I said, I like to curl the running back or option route and whatever you want to do. Okay. Uh, and what you'll see here is the circle receiver against cover four uh, quarters is going to be open over the top. He's going to get a misstep. And, you know, Brady can't quite make that throw. So let me try that one more time to show you. But you saw that he took a misstep and I had a step over the top. So let me just show you that one more time. So, again, I'm just going to kind of. Uh, just kind of audible over to cover four quarters, set up my play. The really important thing is the tight end streak. What you do with the slot receiver, you can kind of tailor that to whatever coverage you're trying to attack. So uh, with cover four show two, you're going to see here, I'm just going to pass lead this to the right and try to get it out there. And as you see, Brady is just killing me with his arm. But let me show you that one more time. And... Um, Cover four quarters, in my opinion, this year is actually really easy to bomb out of bunch. Um, there's several different tactics that you can use. 
Cover Four Show Two uh, is Cover Four Quarters, by the way, out of the um, out of the Gun Bunch. So another thing that I could do is, you know, I mean, you could just honestly snap the ball. Let me just show you what snap the ball. And what you'll oh, I forgot to put the title on the streak. My bad. I forgot to put the title on the streak. Um, I'll show you another bomb out of this for quarters specifically as well. This is not the best bomb for quarters, but this can bomb quarters, and I just wanted you to be able to see that um, early on in this game. So again, you could just put him on a zig, and I'll just show you the zig. Zigs this year are actually really interesting in terms of what they do to co coverages, but you'll see right here, just basically try to get this over, and Brady just can't quite. The lob pass this year is so random. Um, and, and let me just show you one more time, <laughs> and, 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 I, and then I'll show you the one that I know will bomb quarters. Um, again, this this is a pretty good quarters beater. It's just the problem is the way that cover four drop works. If I were to streak R1, the route the routes kind of run into each other. So that's just something uh, specifically against cover four drop because of the press animations. But anyways, let me just show you cover four. And actually, I didn't get over the top, so let me just check it down or put the running back on an option route and you, you beat quarters that way. But that's just if you guess wrong is all I'm saying. But if it's cover four quarters, all you do is streak the R1 receiver and you'll have a touchdown every single time to the R1 receiver. Just pass lead that inside. And as you see, you're able to beat uh, beat that coverage over the top. The problem is that that specific bomb setup if I were to do that against cover four drop, I just wanna show you real quick. So if I were to do that same setup against cover four drop, this is kind of the thing that happens, um, is that the inside quarter is can basically cover both routes. It's a, because you can't, I mean, you can still beat it as you see there. I mean, I still got over the top of it, but I'm just gonna tell you that, you know, the thing, thing with that is that from what I've seen in this year's game, um, the quarter zone can kind of cover both of those routes, especially if he gets rerouted or something. So that's all I'm saying. Um, you'll see here, maybe I'll get it again, but you see how you kind of see that right there? That's kind of the thing. So if you streak the tight end, that doesn't happen. That's all, that's all I'm trying to get at. Um, but from quarter's perspective, you just need more vertical routes. That's kind of the thing. So as long as you have vertical routes, you'll, you'll be able to kill it. Um, the other thing about quarters is oftentimes the solo receiver is going to be wide open for a user catch on the left side um, this year. The way quarters works, especially if they press you, um, if they press you out of quarters, like it, it's basically GG's. You'll see that this uh, solo receiver will just kill it uh, over that over that side, and 99% of the time he'll just beat beat the press um, and be able to get over the top of the defense. So. That's kind of the idea. Um, you could, I mean, you could technically sh like like streak or, or corner route or whatever to that guy against quarters and it'll be a little bit better. Um, you'll see here, like if I were to do that corner route to the slot that I was talking about in the beginning of the video, like this with a, with two streaks, uh, you will see that the this should kill quarters. Um, yeah, you see the circle receiver just kill quarters. Good. Brady is killing me with his pass leads, but anyways, um, so that's that's kind of how you can beat cover four. Uh, I want to go over that cover four drop beater again, just one more time. And again, it's real simple. Um, all you're doing is streaking the tight end, and then you can, like I said, you can do whatever you want with the R1. One of my favorite things is just to put him on a quick zig or a quick flat. Uh, I find that those are really good for just kind of messing with the outside zones. But you'll see here, that safety will never play it if you streak that. And as I say that, he plays it. If you streak that tight end, we got kind of bumped on that on that route. This is also why I really like to put that running back on um, like an in route or something. Just to kind of, if you get a bad animation, you've got an option is all I'm saying. So like a flat and this is a really good route combo. Like something like that is really simple, but it's really, really good. And I'm streaking the tight end, it's just not showing it. But anyways, you'll see the tight end will streak. And then I'm just gonna pass it that all the way to the right. That time he's not gonna be able to get me. And as you can see, that's a one play score against cover four, okay? So this play beats uh, cover four. It also beats like man coverage really well. Um, the running back route will get wide open against man. Obviously streaks this year are really good against man. Um, if you're faced with Tampa 2, you'll see that circle 
should get over the top of that as, as well. It's the same basic. Cover two this year is terrible. So if anyone calls cover two, it's an automatic touchdown every single time against Gun Bunch this year. So as you can see, really, really fun little play uh, to run. And I think that this is really the value of clear out is the fact that it's a cover four bomb. And the biggest thing this year is cover four, in my opinion, is one of the plays is one of the hardest um, to bomb. One of the things you will see, last thing before we go, and again, if you want to get this full guide, it's down in the description below for just 15 bucks. You can learn everything that I'm doing on offense. Um, I've been putting up 50 points like all the time. This is a tactic that you'll see a lot of pro players doing. At least I'm doing this on defense as well. They'll bring these quarter zones in the middle to try to basically the to try to basically play some you know post routes and some of that underneath stuff so if you go with that first setup that i was telling you about what you'll see is this is not even going to be a chance there's no chance for that guy to get him and that's what i find a lot more consistency in terms of the one play score aspect against this so the best way to run cover four that way that you're going to see a lot of people do it is going to absolutely obliterate that for a one play score so the same is true honestly of the cover four show too if they bring these guys down which is the popular thing this year they're bringing these guys in the box because they'll help play like post routes and they'll help play like deep dig routes and things like that this year the inside quarters are one of the best zones in the game but what you'll see is if you go against uh quarters you're going to see here that he gets a step on him. It's just a matter of can Brady make the throw. Obviously, Brady's not the guy. But if you have like a Josh Allen, um, that's probably going to be a touchdown. So, anyways, thanks for watching the video. If you want to get my full Seattle Seahawks offensive guide, we're going to be updating that over the coming weeks with any kind of patches. We are going to definitely have content for you. So, it's not going to become obsolete if they patch anything. Um, we're going to continue to kind of support that guide, at least through the initial stages of the launch game. But Seattle Seahawks Bunch is really, really good this year. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. This has been How to Bomb Cover 4 Drop out of the Gun Bunch for a one-play score. Again, thanks for your support. And if you have any questions, feel free to text me. And like I said, if you want to get that Seattle Seahawks Offensive Guide, it's down in the description for just 15 bucks. And we're going to continue to kind of update that over the next couple of weeks.